only eight days away now from Origin 1 in Adelaide and both sides, both coaches have picked strong teams, Gordy. Yeah, absolutely. And now the dust has settled and we've had a little spat. I think they're both two really strong sides. They'll come up with a plan and whoever executes it right on the night um, will certainly get the points. But they're both really good. Oh, terrific teams, mate. I thought the selection of um, New South Wales and Queensland was close to perfect. They've made some uh, tough calls, but I reckon they've got them right. I think there's some, some calls, Braith, that uh, surprised us, which only adds to the intrigue, right? Like There's some guys that have been left out, some new guys that have come in, and we're, it's pretty exciting to see how they go. It's pretty even. I think it's going to be a very, very good series. Now, tonight's Telstra top story. The countdown is on to Origin 1, and the Blues are out and about in Sydney. Chief NRL reporter James Hooper is with the team Hoops, 24 hours on from the team announcement. Do we know any more about how they'll play next Wednesday night? Evening, Braith. Well, the Blues have hit the ground running in Coogee today and they have put the band back together in terms of recreating that lethal back line that had so much success in the 2021 State of Origin series in Townsville. It will be Latrell Mitchell and it will be Brian Toto on the lethal left edge and then it will be the fastest man in the game, Josh Adokar and Tommy Turbo stationed on the right. Now, Mr Fixit, Nico Hines, he spent some time at dummy half as the Blues prepare today for the Maroon onslaught that they are going to have to face in Adelaide next Wednesday. Nathan Cleary, the New South Wales halfback, he's been thrown the keys to the Ferrari. He's the chief conductor. He is the player who has to plug everybody else in in terms of the way that New South Wales attack. Now, Matty John said only a couple of weeks ago that this is the final frontier for Nathan. He's won premierships. He has won a World Cup with Australia at the end of last year. The final frontier is to really dominate at origin level the way that the likes of champion halfbacks like Andrew Johns and Ricky Stewart have previously in that New South Wales number seven jumper. Now, the other thing that has been a big theme of New South Wales camp today only a couple of hours ago, they had the chin down and they had the gloves up at the famous Woolloomooloo PCYC where they went through some boxing. We all remember those images from last year's State of Origin series where Dane Gagai and Tino Fasua Malaawi took on Matt Burton. Clearly the Blues don't want that kind of thing happening again, so they've gone and done some boxing with some specific trainers at the Woolloomooloo PCYC. Right now, they're on the streets of Woolloomooloo gaining a bit more of an appreciation for just how lucky they've got it to be representing New South Wales, pulling on that sky blue jumper next Wednesday. They're currently speaking to people from the street sides medics organisation. They work in terms of helping homeless people who might need medical assistance. So Coach Brad Fittler and all the playing group are behind us at present, Braith, uh, and it's been a big day in camp as we start the countdown to Origin 1 in Adelaide next Wednesday. Nice work, Hoops. Well done. And as you can see there, the Blues doing some great things behind James Hooper there. Now, we're going to go into the Queensland camp shortly where we're going to talk to Cameron Munster and we're also going to have a look at the Blues team now. But before we did, we do, sorry, some interesting comments today from Latrell Mitchell. Let's take a look at them about his number nine at the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Obviously, Damian Cook missing out. Abby Coruscant getting in. And this is what Latrell had to say about Cook. When he's doing his thing, playing his footy, he's the best hooker in the game, 100% by a mile. I was in awe of that decision, to be honest. It's a bit surprising to see Cookie is not in the team. But Appy has been performing for his team. He put in a great performance the other night, so I wouldn't take anything away from him. Appy deserves it. Uh, how do we see this? I mean, it's a tough one for yeah. Latrell, in my opinion, because he's supporting... Cook, who is his number nine for the South Sydney Rabbitohs at Clubland, and I would expect that. How do you guys see this? You wouldn't expect it any other way. Like, he's sticking up for his South Sydney's teammate. Mm. Like, Appy's in the team, but it, it's, it's no different to a week ago Latrell said Campbell Graham should be the other centre. Mm. You know, like, he, he, he is what he is. He's yeah. a South Sydney man and he is a New South Wales man, but he, there's no way in the world he's going to say, Cook, he's not the best hooker when he plays with him week in, week out. Yeah. yeah, it's strange that we've heard it from a player. We always hear it from a coach and they push their players, don't they? Like mm. Wayne Bennett about Gilbert, you know, like he's an origin player. 
And when it comes from a player, I just see it as honest. You know what I mean? That's all I see, though. He's playing with a guy, you know, and they're a chancer on top of the and table protected. and there's a grand yeah. And they're protecting each other. I actually like it. Mm. I actually like the honesty. Yeah, look, I, I, I actually got to agree with Latrell, to be fair, in, in relation to actually being surprised that Api Coruscant got there in the end because, as far as I'm concerned, all the commentary and all the, um, the discussion and focus on who would be the Blues' number nine was Damien Cook. Api Coruscant, as far as I don't know how you guys feel, but when did he emerge in the picture as being... We all... We all suggested that the Blues were going to go one dummy half and it was always, as far as I'm aware, was going to be Damien Cook. Well, maybe they rang the Penrith connection. And, that's what, and then that's what Latrell... I think he's a big part of this team. The last time they won and they dominated, Latrell was a big part. Maybe he was expecting a phone call well, on I think it's who a do good decision, want. though. I think, I think that's a bit of a, it's a loaded form. question to Latrell, that one. He, there's no real right answer for him mm. personally. No. He's great mates with Cook. The right Plays answer is him. what he said. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one for him. And also, in respect to Appy's um, selection, though, I, I expected Damien would be the hooker. But you, Appy's form's been pretty yeah. good in recent weeks with the Tigers. And now that the Tigers are starting to come on and understand what he's doing, mm. yeah. well, we saw what happened on the weekend. He yeah. was extraordinary. And he is the incumbent. And he does have the connection with the halves. You, you can't ignore that no. fact. So it is what it is. And, and, and not only the connection with the halves, guys, we know that Coruscant can play at a dummy half yeah. more so than what Cook is. Cook loves a fast play of the ball to run. Mm. And, when, and that is, that's a 50-50 in origin, Gordy. Mm. Like, there's, fast play of the ball. There's two things about both styles, right? It's taken the Tigers 12 weeks to adapt to Appy's style. So when you go, Appy needs runners. Cook can take off and he needs himself. That's the, that's the benefit of having Cook. He can take off when there's fatigue. He doesn't need teammates. Or on the front He'll, foot with fast and play then, the balls. So I think like he can adapt the is, the, is the big key word for... Appy can play a slow play of the ball mm. and a fast play of the mm. ball. Yeah. And Origin provides both of those. Yeah. And he's tough. We said it last night. He's Good a, decision. Good decision. Now, James Hooper just said that the New South Wales Blues are trying to replicate their attack back in 2021 yep. by going back to where that identical... Uh, back line. Yep. Rick, it, yeah, it, they... it's, it's absolutely back to the future for Brad Fittler. He's, he's named the entire back line that won the 2021 series. And, guys, remember, that was, the, that was the impossible series for the Blues up to Townsville, game one, 50 to 6, New South Wales. Second game in Brisbane, two away games for the Blues, and they wrapped up the series in game one and two with the exact same back line that Freddie's chosen this time round. Is it is it a bridge too far, given the time and space that's gone now since the 2021 series? No, in the fair no. income stakes, like, if is Luttrell Turbo was fit last good? year, Luttrell yeah. plays. If Tommy's fit this year and he hits form like he did against the Raiders on Sunday, Tommy's in the team. Addo Carr last year was the, the big omission, yeah. but he's back now. That's understandable. Mm. But I don't think it's really going back to the future. It's going to the best side that's yeah. available, yeah, and the, that's the best side. There's no doubt they're the best two players I think New South Wales have. You put him with Teddy and Nathan Cleary. They're the best four players in New South Wales, without a doubt. Well, you got to or, Jeez, you've to dropped or, Campbell Graham quickly. No, no, we no haven't one dropped him. him. He wasn't, I don't I think drop him. Campbell's the most there. unluckiest player in the country. Mm. Is like, he better it, than Luttrell? No, not, is he better than not as a centre, potentially as a winger, Gordy. Is he? Well, it's bad. It's just bad timing for him. Yeah. You know, what he is just waiting there in the wings. Yeah. Any yeah. mistakes, any injuries, any losses, he's the first one in. It, 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 it's just... The players ahead of him are they're superstars. So the Foxes played one game in six to seven the weeks. Fox is a genuine the Fox is a winger, a genuine right. finisher, yeah. a speed man. Mm. And Toto yeah. on his day, he's been probably out and out the best meter eater in the competition. Yeah. Coming everyone, off and he's everyone, low. And he's, even this year, I heard someone the other day question the meters that he's making this year. Like he is like a millimeter. He's behind got to get where he was head. last yeah. year, and he's still clearly the benchmark winner. Hasn't been the same player since he put that headgear on. Yeah. He's going <laughs> back up. <laughs> the Blues were bullied by the Queenslanders last year, which explains the selection of firebrand forward to Vita Pengai Jr. Skipper James Tedesco is confident the Bulldogs enforcer can walk the tightrope in Adelaide. We need him to, to, to play his game and do, and do a clear job for us. I think that's... Uh, we can't just go out and say, you know, take people's heads off. You have to do it in a disciplined manner, but aggressively, and that's what he brings. And we got him, Junior, Payne. I mean, it's a pretty 
um, intimidating front row for us. So um, if those guys can really set the tone for us early, then they'll lay a good platform for us for sure. Origin footy, there's, there's always scuffles, there's always push and shoves. That's just the, sp the nature of the game and um, you know, what the game, game creates. So, I mean, yeah, it's hard to sort of talk about that, but we want to be aggressive. We want to take a backward step and we want to we go after them for sure.